You know, I have had the pleasure of having an inside look at the musical growth of the Wheeler Brothers, and I really like how these guys approach their craft. They recently sat down with us to discuss their latest album, Gold Boots Glitter. Sleep when I'm dead. We actually got to work a couple months ago with Ray Benson, and he kind of helped us with the structure. And we got to play it with Ray at a at a show on his birthday a couple years ago. He gets up there to see the last verse, and as, right as he's about to start singing, this guy walks up with a big piece of cardboard with all the lyrics written on it and stands in front of him and holds up the lyrics. He like, puts he gets, his glasses yeah, down. Glasses on, read it. Sorry, Ray. It's a good story. I thought my time was your time. Now the baseball fields are closed You can sit around in wonder Way below me you don't even know It was one of those songs that uh, we all did in that drunken basement session at a weird hour. We had an iPhone in a shoe, and it's weird, you know, people ask about when inspiration comes, and you just never know. And uh, we're all just having a good time, a good mood, and we're like, hey, let's go down to the basement and do some jams. And we, you know, I think five or six of the songs that are on the album were written down there, or at least the beginnings of them, um, with an iPhone in a shoe and just jamming out and uh, probably being a little bit too intoxicated, but we were able to work with them and uh, actually turn them into pretty good songs. We started off doing a lot of like starts and stops all at the same time, middle of a song, and then what's the next step? What, how do you make it more interesting? And um, I think it was, was spent time with the song in the last album, and towards the end of the song, we like, let's do something different, weird. And we went half time on it and it took a while to get it live, ready. And as soon as we struck it right, it, the whole crowd could feel it. As soon as that drops down, they're like, whoa. <laughs> Gold Beats Glitter. We had been on the road with portraits for about eight months at the time, and we're kind of like splitting our time between being on the road and off the road and working on this album. A lot of the songs came together in the studios, but a handful of them actually were completely created in the studio. Just like, all right, we got to write another song. Here we go. And uh, so there weren't lyrics, and there weren't a lot of structure to them. So we had to kind of like, it couldn't just be like jam number three, jam number seven. So we just started making these weird names for it. And that was, that was what Pat came up with. Ooh, you got a lot of love, you got to know. You got a lot of love. There's, a, there's an old drummer named Bernard Purdy, and he has this, this drum lick that's called the Purdy Shuffle. And I thought that was a cool beat, you know, and I learned it once with a bunch of other beats, most of them who I've forgotten. But we were trying to figure out what kind of drum beat to put on this song. And I was like, that's perfect for the Purdy Shuffle. So that's what I did. It was just kind of like a, a Purdy Shuffle-esque type beat. And it's, you know, using a tom and a hi-hat. And it just sunk right in, perfect to the song. And I guess that's, you know, kind of the first time that I actually was able to put a, a pretty cool, interesting drum lick that I was proud of into, into one of our songs. Where we recorded Gold Biscuit is, is about, where like three hours from Austin. It's out in the middle of nowhere. So it was really cool to be out there. You know, you'd go out there and you'd stay the night and you'd be out there for a week at a time. So it wasn't like, uh, wake up, go to the studio, go get lunch, go home, then do it again the next day. It was kind of like, you're just there. It's, it's just a, it's a great place to be. We, you know, we have a studio where we spend probably 12 to 14 hours a day, but also there's kind of a spring, we've got some vehicles, so when we need to take some time off, we go out and like, go in the swimming holes, van, and, and kind of blow off some steam. Uh, it's just a really good, free atmosphere to create music. That was one of the songs that we got to work with Drew, not only having him produce the song, but actually co-write and kind of work with the ideas and, and put some lyrics together. Definitely a bit more on the rock and roll, classic rock and roll side than we would really venture to go. The whole way that it came together has a huge influence from him and uh, helped us kind of 
put us on in a different direction. What do I hope fans would take away from this project, this album, is maybe to really anything, any kind of emotion, either love it or hate it, just not walk away indifferent, but uh, to really just kind of listen to it and see if they can hear the band coming together a little bit more because after being on the road and already having one studio album together, I feel like we kind of really sunk in together and found, found our groove and our style. And I think a lot of that largely came together with Gold Boots Glitter. Well, it was gold, room filled with smoke, and I was feeling slow from the night before. But I stood straight and steady, my daddy's. I was ready for the next time.